Hey guys, how's it going? It's Amanda. So this is the ink case from Oaxis. And what this does is it adds a second screen to the back of your iPhone 7. This is an e-ink display, so it's very low power consumption. They say that the battery should last three to five days depending on use. And it helps you kind of save some of the battery on your phone by using this display, especially if you're using it for a reader. Inside the package, one thing I wanna show you here is this little clip. That's to help you pry the case off so you don't apply pressure on the back of the screen and break it. And make sure you hang onto this charger since it's a proprietary one and you may not find another one easily to replace it. Now the screen part is a nice cool effect, a wow effect to your phone, but it's also a standard case so it will add protection to your phone as well. So let's go ahead and clip it in here, get it lined up there, and I'm gonna snap around the edges very carefully again to not smash the screen up. Then you're gonna want to go over to the App Store and download the Ink Case app, and also make sure you do have your Bluetooth turned on and enabled. Here on the back of the case, it is displaying some info on how to get started. Here, I'm gonna go into the settings and detect ink case under the device list. And here it is popped up 16 FD, click that. And now we are paired up. You're gonna get a bunch of pop-ups then to allow access. I allowed everything, but if you change your mind in a later time or you accidentally select the wrong one, you can in the settings go down here to where it says permission settings and adjust those as well. So now we are in the reader portion. It allows you to read eBooks. Here's some that comes preloaded. You can select one and download it to your case. Now this is in real time, but I'm gonna speed it up to two times quicker just to make the video a little quicker and simpler. So now we have that loaded on here. Here is the photos tab. You can see I have downloaded some photos just from the internet. It's gonna select the size here and you hit save. Oops, hit save. And then you go up here from your selection list. And from there, you're gonna select that photo and send ink case. So here again is in real time. It goes really quickly, but I'm gonna just go ahead and speed it up here. So there, now we've got that there. Also in the Photos app here, I wanna just select one and show you that they did include some tweaks, which I think is really cool. You can select the size range here and hit save. You can go in and add text if you'd like to. There's different text that's preloaded into it, but I'm just gonna go ahead and back out of that. Now this is really key here. There's a tonal value here that you can change. So if you can't really see the photo that well in the back of your case, you may wanna change the tone and save it again. And just really cool. So what if you saved one and you don't like it, you can go in here and delete it directly from the app or you can do it also on the back, which I'll show you later. The next tab says read later. You're gonna have to sign up and sign into a pocket account, but once you do that, here it is syncing. It's going to add your read later articles to the back of your phone so you can read those without killing your phone's battery. So here I head over to a website, I pick out an article, check it out, make sure it's something that I'm interested in. Then I go up here to the website, I'm gonna copy the link to the website here, and then I'm gonna flip back into the Ink Case app, into the Reader tab, and it's automatically going to ask me if I wanna paste that link. So I click yes, and it's going to sync it automatically to my case. So there we are done. Also down here you can select this little arrow, and I have already enabled it, and then it's gonna send it to my ink case that way as well. So there's two different options there. So here it is back here on the back of the case now, and you can see that I can pick up these and read these. You can flip through which articles, and say once you've got done reading it, you're done with it now, you can go ahead and delete it from there. The next tab is called Widgets. It's going to sync all of your calendar events along with things that you've prioritized to high priority within your Reminder app, and just really cool way to see all the things on the back of your phone, which I'll show you that here in a moment. The next tab is just all your settings. So now I wanna flip it around and show you the back. Here at the very bottom here is your sleep wait button. Also, you can hold it down to power it on or off. And these little arrows flip through your pages. This circular button is your select button. It also allows you to double tap and do things like change through to the different modes here. And here you can see we are now showing all of the reminders and calendar events. It also shows you some activities going on, your weather, time. You can also hit the over button on this and switch the display or even just a clock here, which I think looks really cool. Now checking out the display, this has an anti-glare coating, so it's gonna be readable even in bright sunlight. I'm here in my studio with tons of bright lighting on and you can see it's still highly visible. Now we are looking at some photos that I have loaded, just some we found on the internet and downloaded. Here, if I unlock the screen, I can flip through the photos that I have selected. Now see this photo, it's not really that dark, and that's what I was discussing about the tonal value you may wanna change earlier. So I'm gonna go ahead and hold this button down and it allows you to delete it right from the back of your screen. You can also do it from the app. 
Um, but here I'm going to double tap, switch through. Here is the reader. <laughs> this book is in French. Didn't quite plan on that, but there you can see that. Then we have our widgets. Everything is displayed on there. And the last one, I keep wanting to use this as a touch screen, is our read later options. And this is just a story, again, that was preloaded on here. So here it's just a closer look at some of the parts around the phone. Um, I really like using this. I love the ability to add a cool picture on there, just something I want to customize. Even when this is powered off, you can add a photo. Uh, you can see here it doesn't add that much bulk or weight to the phone. And really, it's kind of cool just to not have to carry a Kindle with you and be able to add your books to it. You can also still access the chargers and everything, so no issues with charging it. Well guys, that wraps it up for today's video. Hit the thumbs up button if you like this video. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I also wanna give a big thanks to OAxis for sponsoring this coverage. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.